Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore, and today we are going to continue the object oriented programming features. In last session, we have discussed some of the object oriented features such as class and object. Today, we are going to continue the remaining features of object oriented programming. Now, first of all, I am giving brief examples of class and uh, object. First, uh, what is a class? What is an object? Okay. Now, say this class is the extension of C structure and the major difference between C structure and C++ class is C structure allows C structure allows only the variables inside the structure which are called structure members, but C++ class allows both the variables and member functions means nothing but functions which are called member functions. That is why here I am giving the differences between C structure, C++ structure and class and structure C++ structure. First, uh, I am going to give structure C structure differences and C++ structure. Okay. That is why first uh, it is the C structure and it is the C++ structure. Now, first thing is C structure is collection of variables and C++ structure is collection of variables and functions. Next, C structure is by default public that means structure members are by default public. Next, here C++ structure members are private or public or protected. Okay. We can declare the C++ structure members in three ways. One is private mode, another one is public mode and another one is protected member. Now, these are the two major differences in between the C structure and C++ structure and working style everything is similar to C. That means, both working style and everything is same to same. The only difference is first one is collection of variables means uh, C structures does not allow functions inside the structure and C++ allows both to the variables and functions inside the structure. And here C structure members are by default public that means anybody can that means anybody can means here in the total program we can access the structure members from anywhere, but here they are private, public, protected. These are the two major differences between the C structure and C++ structure. Now, I said C++ class is, okay, we are declaring the class or we are getting the class from C structure. That is why now I am giving what is the difference between structure and class. Okay. These, the, these are the differences between C structure and C++ structure. Now, I am going to give the differences between structure and class. Okay. Now, first one C++ structure and it is the class. Now, the first difference is of course, generally everybody knows it is a user defined and here also it is user defined. Okay. Now, I am giving similarities and differences both. That is why here C++ structure is called user defined, class also called user defined. Okay. Next, uh, it is a complex data type. Here also same thing, complex data type. Next, uh, here the point is collection of variables and uh, functions. C++ structure is the collection of variables and functions. As usual, class also collection of variables and functions. Next, now fourth one, members are private or public or protected. Now, C++ structure members are private public or product and the same thing is happen here members are 
प्राइवेट और पब्लिक और प्रोटेक्टेड नाउ दीज आर द कॉमन थिंग्स दे आर लुकिंग टू बी सेम ओके नाउ द फोर प्रॉपर्टीज आर लुकिंग टू बी सेम नाउ द डिफरेंस इज वॉट ओके हियर द फर्स्ट मेजर डिफरेंस इज हियर बाय डिफॉल्ट मेंबर्स आर पब्लिक बाय डिफॉल्ट मेंबर्स आर पब्लिक दैट मींस व्हेन देयर इज नो विजिबिलिटी लेबल और एक्सेस स्पेसिफायर इज नॉट मेंशन ओके व्हेन नो विजिबिलिटी लेबल और एक्सेस स्पेसिफायर इज नॉट मेंशन ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल द मेंबर्स विल बिकम पब्लिक मेंबर्स दैट मींस एनीबॉडी कैन एक्सेस फ्रॉम एनीवेयर and here by default class members are private it is the major difference by default class members are private that means only the authorized means uh, only the member functions of same class are accessible outside members are not accessible it is the first major difference in between the c++ structure and class next uh, here not inherited it is the major another major difference okay structures are not participated in inheritance means from one structure we are not able to derive another structure but classes are inherited okay from one class we can declare another class or from one class we can derive another class that's why classes are participating in inheritance next uh, use it to build simple data types or programs okay generally structures we are using for constructing a simple programs that means not the complex programs okay for example bank examples railway reservations like that okay in big projects we are not able to use the structure concept only they are limited for simple programs and uh, here they are used for complex programs used to build complex programs that's why by using the class concept because of inheritance is allowed no okay due to that feature using c++ classes we can construct uh, big projects it is the major advantage of class these are the similarities and differences between the c++ structure and the class okay now it is nothing but uh, similarities and differences of class next now how to declare the class and what are the definition of class okay now i am giving class first thing it is a user defined data type okay class is called it is a user defined data type because of we are constructing the class by using the primitive and de derived data types as per the user requirement that's why class is called it is a user defined data type next it is a complex data type class is a complex because of different types of data types are available at one place that's why it is a complex data type next it is a it is collection of members it is collection of members that means class contains different types of members what they are means one data members nothing but variables next second one is member functions nothing but functions okay that's why here the point is class is of members that means what class contains both the data members and member functions which are collectively known as members that means here data members means nothing but uh, the variables that are declared inside the class are called data members and the functions that are declared inside a class are called member functions and collectively both are called members okay next class is a container that means which contains the members because of when container container means what which contains something here it contains something what data members and member functions that's why class is a container next class provides 
the concept of encapsulation means what? When class is used, class contains what? Both the data members and member functions. That means, class allows to bind, class allows to tied different types of variables and functions into a single unit called class. Okay? Now, class allows to place different types of variables and member functions or functions into a single unit called class and this mechanism is called encapsulation. Okay? It is nothing but encapsulation. Next, uh, class provides the concept of data hiding with uh, private declaration. Already you have discussed uh, class members are either private or public or protected. Okay? Here the main point is when the members are private, only the member functions of that class are able to access the data. That means, outers are not allowed at any cost except the pointers friend functions, except the pointers and friend functions which are discussed in later sessions. Okay? Here that is why an important point of class is when the class data is private, it is not visible outside the class that is called data hiding. That is why the key factor of data hiding is achieved with the private declaration that allows by allowed by the class. That is why class provides the concept of data hiding with the private declaration. Next, class is a blueprint means original copy to construct the objects. That is why here one important thing is class is a blueprint class is a blueprint. Here blueprint means original copy to construct objects. That means, to construct the objects, first of all we should have to define the class because of class is the nothing but a plan okay? that is that is it is a plan. Okay? Here watch it, it is a plan before constructing the objects. That is why to construct the objects, first of all we have to make a plan. For example, to construct a building, we should have to go for okay, plan. That means, uh, we are going to meet the planner which is also called architect. Okay? First of all, we are going for civil engineer who is also called architect. Now, he is going to draw a plan on the paper based on that plan, the builder is going to construct the building. That is why here one most important point is class is a plan. Class is a plan means paper plan which is used to construct the objects. In my example, paper plan is the class and the real building is the objects. That is why class is a logical copy to construct the physical copies which are called objects. That is why class is a, okay? here it is the most important point, class is a logical copy to create objects because of here class never occupies any memory. Okay? Here because of class never occupies any memory and objects always occupies the memory. That is why objects are called physical representation of classes. Now, these are the important features of class. That means, uh, what is a class and what class provides. That is why class means it is a user defined data type. Okay? Here class is a user defined data type. Next, it is a complex data type. It is collection of members. What are the members available means? Data members, member functions. And what is called data member means? The variables that are declared inside the class are called data members and the functions are called member functions. That is why class is nothing but a container which contains the both data members and member functions. And class provides the concept of 
encapsulation. Encapsulation refers to be what? Binding of data and member functions together into a single unit called class. Next class provides the concept of data hiding. That means what? Outers are not allowed. Means uh, the private data is fully secured and it should be accessed with only the member functions of that class. It is not visible outside the class. It is called data hiding feature. And uh, here class is a blueprint just before we have finished. To construct the objects, we have to draw the plan and that plan is nothing but class and the plan is called blueprint. Blueprint means original copy. Okay. Next, it is a plan before constructing the objects. That is why class is a logical. Why? Because class never takes any memory, only the object takes the memory. That is why class is a logical copy and objects are the physical instances of the class. Okay. Next, what is the syntax of a class? Okay. Now, I am going to give syntax of the class. Generally, the class is started like this class and here class name and class name is optional when the object is declared immediately after the class. Here class is the key word that denotes we are going to start a class here and here we have to enter the class name and class name is optional when the objects are declared immediately. Next here visibility label or access specifiers. Next, data members, nothing but variables and member functions, member functions, nothing but functions. Next, it is the class closing and here one important thing is here we can declare the class variables which are called objects and here important thing is when the class variables or objects are declared okay when the class variables or objects are declared immediately after the class means here then class name is not required it is purely optional but uh, whenever the class variables are not declared here we have to declare some other places of the program then the class name is mandatory and every class should have to end with the semicolon. It is the another important thing. Now, it is nothing but the syntax of a class. That is why every class should have to start with the class keyword and every class is having a particular name. It is optional when the variables are declared immediately. Next, access specifier. Now, what is called access specifier? The name is very clear. It specifies how they are going to be accessed. Okay? It specifies how they are going to be accessed in our programs and uh, class provides three types of uh, access specifiers. One is private, another one is public and another one protected. Okay? In C++, C++ we are going to use three types of uh, access specifiers or visibility labels. Now, we are going to use private, public, protected. Now, what is happening when private and public and protected? I am going to explain what is happening when private is used. Uh, say this, suppose I am going to use private declaration. Now, whenever the data members or member functions are private, okay, they are directly not accessed with the objects. For example, I am going to declare INTA. Now, see this. A is called data member and here I have not used any access specifier means either private or public or protected. Now, automatically compiler assumes it is a private because of by default class members are private. Okay, remember this by default all the class members are private. When class members are private, okay, especially data members are private they should be accessed with the member function. For example, now I am going to write here void get. Just assume get is one of the member function and here inside this a equal to 100. Later c out a, now function close and it is 100 percent allowed. 
because of here the rule is private data should be accessed with uh, member functions of same class and here A is declared inside the class get also declared inside the class that is why they are called members that is why private data should be accessed with another member function okay. that is why it is accepted there is no problem and one more most important point in C++ it is not allowed INTA equal to for example 100. Now this kind of declaration gives error member function not uh, declared here member function not initialized here error it is going to show that is why members data member should be initialized or used or accessed with a member function only direct initializations are not allowed it is one of the most important role next now what happens watch it it is private data and it is also private member function because of no access specifier mentioned now later i want to access this member function suppose just assume it is the main function here i have declared one object for example it is the object now object dot a equal to 100 now it gives error and object dot get it also gives error okay both uh, in both situations we are getting error because of now a is a private member get also private member when members are private they are directly not accessible with the objects okay it is the most important role in class okay when the data members or member functions are private they should be okay they are not available to the object directly using dot membership operator here i have used dot dot is called membership operator dot is called what membership operator and uh, when the members are private we are not able to access with the object name directly that is why it is better to use one public member function now public now what happened a will become private member but get will become public member and public member directly accessible with the object that is why it is not allowed but uh, this one is allowed object dot get okay that is why to access the members okay that is why what i want to say is when the all the when all the class members are private it is useless okay why because to access the ob class members we should have to declare the object and where the object is generally declared and where the members are called from main function actually main function is outside the class but in cpp the main rule is what members are not visible private members are not visible outside the class but what happened now the private member a is a private member get also private member that's why it is not visible which is called data hiding that's why when they are not visible how can we access that's why this class is useless class that's why just to declare at least one class as a public member otherwise use the friend functions otherwise use the pointers okay but later we are going to discuss friend function because of right now we are fresher that's why i am not going to discuss about friend function and pointers and now that's why you have to maintain at least one public member function inside the public member function we can call the private members that's why now i am going to give picture full picture clarity watch it see this i am going to give the public private pr protected because right now i am not able to give the protected members because of the protected members are used only in inheritance concept when inheritance is started there i am going to explain what is protected member now i am going to give private and public declarations and how the private members are accessed inside the class now just example see this class for example student now private and here every access specifier should have to end with colon symbol it is the most important rule next int id next character name next float fee now these three members are called data members next uh, i am going to start like this for example i want to make public then directly public and it is another access specifier now 
void gate. Here I am going to write like this C out enter id comma name comma fee. Now C in is required ok. C in id name fee. Here C out is what C in is what because of we have not discussed you know that is why I am giving small color to see this. Here C out is nothing but printf in C language and C in is nothing but scanf in C language that is why one is for output purpose one is for input it is going to print the matter it is going to read the values ok and uh, now it is the program. Later I want to print the data void C out id equal to id end l end l means nothing but uh, slash n in C language generally in C language we are using slash n slash n means what next line that is why here end l is a manipulator which is used for next line next uh, C out name now name is printed end l and C out fee fee also printed now function closed class closed it is the example and here private and public they are called access specifiers ok here private and public are called access specifiers id name fee they are nothing but data members and get is the member function that is why class is collection of data members and member functions with the access specifiers and now watch it what happens it is the class declaration and definitions and here in C++ we can define the member functions in two ways one is inside the class by using this method. Now your compiler understands it is a inline function what is a inline function in later session we are going to start ok after that we are going to discuss that because of it is a different concept inline function is what and now here the definition is completed within the class that is why it is called ok member function definition inside the class and we can define the member function outside the class also. Now I am going to give how outside the class it is defined simple logic just uh, in place of this one see this suppose public void get now class closed ok now the class is closed. Now here the rule is whenever the definition is outside we should have to start the class name stu colon colon get and here it is not a inline function remember this when the definition is completed inside the class it will become inline function but it is right now outside but whenever the definition is completed outside the class you should have to use class name and scope operator it is the most important role when the definition is completed outside the class you should have to start with the class name first later scope operator later member function now in two ways we can define the member function one is inside one is outside it is the example for outside another one inside next now I want to access this one I want to access the function and get is the public member or private member it is exactly public member that is why here I am going to declare the object void main now how to declare the object class name first space object that is all now it is the syntax to declare the object that is why first class name object here our class name is what student that is why in class name stu later object name is user defined suppose yes now s is the object ok when object is created what happens the memory is allocated here id is there id which type integer that is why 2 bytes name here name we have to store several characters now 20 characters float fee 4 bytes because of float that is why 4 plus 20 plus 2 total 26 bytes memory allocated in stack it is the id it is the name and it is the fee it takes 2 bytes and it 20 bytes it 4 total 26 bytes and get function is there. Now can I call I am going to call like this s dot get it is called what calling 
that is it. Now, program close. When this function is called, get is going to call this one and it is going to read and print the data. It is how to access the class members, it is how to access the class members. Okay. In later session, we are going to continue the remaining topic. Okay. Thank you for watching.